I wanted to ask you, like everything that you talk about, I mean, I actually listen to it. I think I have a pretty good grasp about it. You know, me making money, having a good job and everything. Spinning plates in your 30s and 40s, that's fine. But then what is the end game for men when they grow older, like 50 and 60? What do you think should be the end game? If you have money, Define you have Define end else, game to me, to me, so I understand what you mean. I mean, you know, even if you're in your 50s and 60s and you end up with women when they're, when they're like 25 and 30, Mm-hmm. And they still cheat on you and they still flake on you. Mm-hmm. You know, you got to be there for them for money. You got to be there for them for, you know, about whining them, dining them and everything. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, what is the man supposed to do in that age when, when he gets to that age, to, uh, you know? Okay. So you're talking about the end game as it relates to women and relationships. I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Look, man, like, here's the thing, like, I'm a product of the 70s, right? You know, people ask me how old I am. I just say, you know, I was born in the 70s. So, you know, you can figure it out. But I'm I'm getting close to that demographic. Um, yeah. What's the end game? I don't know. What's the best way to answer that? Aside I, mean, from... I mean, to I mean, to give you an example of somebody who is rich and famous. I mean, I mean, like DiCaprio, he's in his 40s. Yeah. And he's been dating women all through his 30s and everything. But then yeah. when he's going to go to the age of like 50 and 60, eventually he would probably need to settle down with a woman. He would probably need to sim for her and then have babies with her if he wants to do it. I don't know if he wants to do it. He's like the alpha male or something who probably doesn't have to do any of that shit. He can probably live to like 80 or 90 and then yeah. just keep the dating models and everything. You know, I mean, it, that's well, the way to go. It, it, it really depends on how you structured your life how well you've unplugged from society's comforting lies, what your objectives are and what your goals are. Um, Because when you ask me the question, you know, I think about it, I'm like, who fucking cares, right? Like she's there, she's not there. I mean, do I want my girlfriend to be there in the future? Yeah, I like her, I dig her vibe, but if she chooses not to be there, I'll be okay with that too, right? Um, As far as like a guy like Leonardo DiCaprio, I mean, if you look at famous actors like uh, like Robert De Niro, um, Al Pacino, they're both old as shit. Like they're in their 70s and 80s and they both just had kids. Yeah. And right? then I think Pacino is going through some problems with this girl and everything about the Who kid cares? And he's and Dude, he's got so much shit. money. He's yeah. just like, whatever, I've scattered my seed one more time. I've got, I don't know how many kids he's got now, seven or eight or something like that. Right. So it's like he just gives the 20 year old, you know, whatever she needs. She wants to bounce. He doesn't give a fuck. He's 80. Right. Um, You know, the fact that he's able to reproduce even at 80s, he's he's probably just happy with that. So I think that the question is, what is it that matters to you and how do you want to engineer your life so that when you're older, you know, as you say, like as men grow older, you're getting what you want out of life. Like, I'm pretty sure Leonardo DiCaprio has a plan. I've never seen him interviewed. I've never seen him answer questions around this that I'm aware of. If somebody's aware of it, send me the interview or the article or whatever's out there, but I've never seen it. But if I were to venture a guess, I would probably say Leonardo DiCaprio is probably the kind of guy that will that will start popping out a bunch of kids, mm-hmm. uh, maybe with one woman, maybe with multiple women. And yeah. even at that point, I doubt that he's going to be faithful to them because that's how he's run his entire life. Or you could just get to the point where he's like, fuck it. I don't care. I've already, you know, slept with a bunch of women. I've seen everything. This, you know, this one here is 10 out of 10, right? So I'm going to dedicate, you know, any spare time that I feel like jamming into that with her. So, I mean, you can, you can also take the example of Messi. I mean, Messi was in love with the girl since it was a, since, since his childhood mm-hmm. and then they have a family and they, they have kids. He's got like tons of money. He's worth like what, $350 million or something mm-hmm. or four. Uh, so, I mean, you can also have those kind of lifestyle where you can have a family value and you can also have a career, but it's very hard for men to actually find that kind of woman nowadays. Because I mean, in the well, past if you want to be spoiled so, for choice, if you want to find that kind of woman, like if there's a unicorn cut, kind of woman that you, uh, idealize no no they're not the, they're not because i've been dating women in the past two years i've been with like five six women and dude every single game plan turns to shit yeah and she starts flaking and when she starts so then you doing just her women her. thing you know i mean yeah you so just, you just, just replace, replace her. her 
Yeah. Just like every woman I've been with, whether it's somebody I've been seeing for like two months. Or yeah, but I mean, I've like, here's the thing is months, that it's is it, is it sounds like to me like you're investing too heavily in the notion that it's going to turn into something. And, you know, I said this earlier today on uh, Twitter. Um, hang on a second. Let me just dig it up because there was this there was this viral clip that just went nuts on Twitter. Uh with some girl that was being interviewed and she said something along the lines of, um, I need a uh, guy to spend at least $200 on a first date. And the guy interviewing her was like, well, you know, what are you doing for the $200? She said, well, you get my presence. You know, I have to spend money on makeup and all this sort of stuff. And yeah, exactly. Yeah. Where is it here? Uh, man, this timeline gets so uh, congested here on Twitter X. I keep calling it Twitter, even though it's X. Anyway, the point that I was making is that you want to choose women and mm -hmm. invest in women that are that that show you that they're worth something first. Otherwise, they're worth nothing. Right. I like I can spend two thousand dollars on a date on a first date if I want. I don't give a fuck. She she doesn't get a dime of that. She gets a coffee or a drink. If I if I'm single and I'm going out dating, she gets a coffee or a drink because that's that's all I have time for. I have one hour for them to demonstrate to me that they're worth me taking them out again because mm -hmm. that's who I am and that's where I see myself. And they're going to see that value because of how I hold myself out to the world. So if she's into that, if she's following that lead, if she's entering my frame, if she wants to spend more time with me, if she shows she has genuine burning desire, then I'll spend more time with her. But if she's flaky, if she's disinterested, if you have to spend two hundred dollars to take me on a date, get fucked. Get. F I have I have options, and I'm busy, and I have things to do, right? So the point that I'm making here, my friend, is focus on you, focus on yourself, build yourself up so that you're in a position so that things like this don't bother you. You don't you don't contemplate what's the end game as I get older, right? You know that you have options because there's no end to your life, like. You know, for me as it stands right now, I don't see an end game to anything in my life. I don't see an end game to me not working, not traveling, like any of these things. Like I'll like I'll do it as long as I'm physically healthy enough to do it. And right. I'm in great shape yeah. and I take care of myself. So I see that as a very long runway, right? So yeah. I think this is more about turning around, you know, like 180 degrees and rethinking the way that you're approaching getting older and looking at women. Does that make sense? It does. I mean I'm I'm in my 40s. I'm like 42 right now. I have mm. a six figure job. I'm closing in about half a million dollars in investments and everything. So I have like a 10 to 15 year plan. What do I want to do? But I'm just thinking when I'm 60 and 65, I mean, am I still going to be spinning plates? If I, if well, I what do you want to do? Do you want to have kids? Do you want to spin plates? Do you want to rack up notches? Do you want well, to I already food? have a son when I was younger? I have a son. So I'm yeah. probably working so bad when he grows up and I, and I tell him about the Red Hill stuff all the time. He's 12 yeah. and he knows so much shit about it that I'm just it just scares me that I didn't know about it. When Good. I was 25, that he knows at the age of 12. So, mm -hmm. I, so, so I want him to grow, grow up as a man who's some who's somebody who knows about the. Okay, but do you uh, want to have more kids? The no. Fuck okay. No. Okay, so that's fine. So, <laughs> so children I are. Focus on my son, but then okay. I'm thinking about. I, I want to make money for him. I want to be able to sit and settle down for. No, no, life. don't don't ever make money for your children. Show them like you never give your kids fish. You show them how to fish. Yeah, of course. Yes. Yeah. Yeah um yeah spend the money on yourself to... spend the money on your life oh, i am enjoy I am. it I but, am but show them how to and, fish uh, i i was just thinking about like when you're 60 and 65 and if you're still are not able to find the right woman do you have to keep spinning plates until you drop dead or like what the plan is i don't know <laughs> <laughs> i think you're it still sounds to me like you're too invested in women and making them a part of you feeling some level of accomplishment as you get older like the end game like to me, the notion of end game guess, is like I guess the finish the thing line. Is that you know, when it, when it comes to women now, I don't know what they bring to the table besides sex. Right. They don't really bring anything. They don't fucking bring anything besides. So why do you care about chaos. them so much? So why do you care about them so much? If, because if I guess that's all you're saying. It's, it's just the way that my parents were, or my grandparents were, yeah. the family values and stuff. And, and yeah, but that's household. cultural, though, right? I thought it was everywhere whether in the u.s or in the mid, mid, mid east or something i think mm. families were there and they were together for the sake of their kids mm. but now women have their own agenda about oh if 
everything has to be about me, me, me. And the yeah, I know, man, because women suck. have changed. Like, uh, <laughs> it's funny that because there's a chapter in my next book where I describe this avatar of Becky, right? And it's like yeah. this, you know, this avatar care. is like the modern woman. And she has her own job. She doesn't need no man. She's got her own apartment. It's furnished the way that she likes it. She has her friends. She has her, you know, her sisters and her little network and they do their stuff together. And it's like, they keep hearing from all these different angles. A woman needs a man like a fish needs a bicycle. And it's like, look, if, if, if that's the vast majority of the women out there and they're not suitable for long-term relationships, then just accept it. You know, surrendering to the reality of the world is a skill that you have to learn as an unplugged man. The sun is hot. Water is wet. I cannot breathe if I tried to walk into the ocean underwater. If I stay out in the sun, I will get a sunburn and I will pay the price for that. So you have to surrender to certain realities of the world. And one of the realities of the world that we live in today is women are really not the greatest anymore. They're not generally marriage type of material. Uh, fewer and fewer Facts. of them are, are worthy of a long-term relationship or inviting into your life in a long-term basis. So just accept that for what it is. Do your thing, chase excellence, spend time with your kid, hang out with a network of top shelf men, do cool shit with them, right? That's part of the reason why I created my community. This guy's wanted to do cool shit and hang out with top shelf men. So if a girl comes along that fits your frame and is a compliment to it, not the focus of your life, and she comes to you and says, hey, son of Krypton, you know, we've been seeing each other for a while. Um, I'm not seeing anybody else. Where do we stand? You know, where's this going? I really dig your vibe. And you look at her and she's like, okay, she's got none of the red flags or she's got one and she's really working on it, right? Like she's serious about, you know, being this, a good compliment to your life. That's when you sit back girl. and go, okay, yeah, maybe I'll contemplate it. See, the funny thing is that there was this one girl that was really nice and everything, but uh, the physical connection and everything, the sex, it wasn't there. It's just it's just weird. Like some of the women you yeah. have the best sex with, they are crazy as shit. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. It's just the way things are. And then some of the women it is who are what nice it is, man. so supportive and you don't feel shit with them in bed. It's like, what the hell is going on, man? Why can't I find yeah. that one woman where you feel everything with her? Yeah, it's and, it, and, it's, and it's very difficult to find that all in one check. So... I'll wrap it up on this note because I've got a few other people that I got to take into. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Um, as as women get older, because you're 42, so what age range do you normally date in? Uh, the youngest I was with was like 22, yeah. not over 30 for sure. So everything, everyone was like between 22 and 30. 20 to, okay, 30. So like as like as women get older, and you're dating relatively young, which is good for you, but as they tend to get older, they tend to accumulate more and more baggage. Yes. Right. He hurt me. He cheated on me. He pushed me down the stairs. He was a drug addict. He was an alcoholic. He did this or that. And, you know, and then as they get older, they have, you know, more opportunities to be with more men. They often become single mothers more often. They can have STDs more often. They have more abortions more often. It's like all of this shit that they carry around is just baggage. And too much baggage. Yes. they bring it into your life. And it's like, you don't need any of that. Right. Like nope. if you're a man on a grind, you're putting a dent in the universe, you're successful. You don't need that weighing you down. You just don't. So, again, you just look at it for what it is. Water is wet. The sun is hot. Treat things as they are. Don't expect them to be something that they're not because they never will be. Right. Like you can't have the expectation of a chick that's shared her body with 20 guys, had two abortions. Uh, got beat up by one boyfriend, had a DV, false DV, like all these things that pile up in their life in their head to be good long-term relationship material, right? Like you need women, you need women that hold themselves to standards and are accountable. And very yeah. few women can do that today because they're told not to. I really hope you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full length podcast, you can find that over here, that clips from. If you're newer to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe over here and pin down below in the top comment. You'll find a bunch of useful links to my website, my supplement line books, and a bunch of other stuff. Have an amazing day. Peace out.